anything else that distracts us. And in the name of Jesus, we just proclaim liberty here in this place. Yeah. We thank you, Father, that you are God who is uh, amazing. We love to worship you, Lord God. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sakara? Good morning. Good morning. You guys have to forgive me. I don't like being cold, so I'll be in the back getting warm. <laughs> so we're going to come before you and lead you in some praise and worship. The Bible says in Psalm 34, 3, we'll come and magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. And so even though I come before you leading you in worship, this is your time to go before your Heavenly Father and make a joyful noise unto Him because He loves to hear your voice. And so I consider this time a privilege and an honor to lead you in worship. But I am going before the throne of grace just like you would. So I am here to praise and worship my Heavenly Father as well. So.
Yes, it's all about you. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Tell him it's all. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. Jesus loves us so much, he just wants to be the center. And he's the center. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. When he's the center, everything else will be added unto us. Thank you.
going a little bit, Dwayne. Our 
are good. You have purpose for us. You woke us up this morning. You started us on our way. We still have the activity of our limbs. We still have a mouth to open up and bless you in your house. And we're just going to give you what's due because you love us. Yes. Yes, Lord. We have used our mouths this week for so many things, but at this moment, we're going to use our mouth to bless you. We're not asking for anything because we understand that you love us. in this room, Holy yes, Spirit. Yes, Have your way, Holy Spirit. Yes, when we think about your love towards us, it's overwhelming. You left us here one more day while others didn't make it. Try to 
do this, amen, with all the glasses. <laughs> he loves us. There is a word today that I came to encourage everybody with and um, uh, to remind you guys of something that you already know, something that has already been given to you, which is the word of God. Amen. And um, I don't know about you guys, but uh, um, for me, uh, I've been going, it's been pretty intense lately. I don't know about you guys. And if it's not intense for you now, keep on living. Because life has a way of getting intense. Yeah. Amen? Amen? It does. But for me, this message here, I had to partake of. I had to be the first partaker of this one. Anytime you get up to preach and give a word, you must partake first. And even putting this together, the tears are coming because I was like, Jesus, life has a way. Uh, bringing you to your knees. Even during this time period that we're living in now, with the pandemic and everything that's going on, uh, some things have intensified. Uh, I don't know, but most people in here know somebody or have heard about somebody that has been affected by the pandemic. And if they're not affected by the pandemics, some other stuff is going on. People are losing hope, jobs, bills, just a lot of stuff. Suicide is on the rise, addiction, abuse, all of these things are on the rise. And as uh, ministers of as the gospel um, people, even during this time, are depending on you for a word. They're depending on you for a prayer. They're depending on you to be strong. And you know, ladies, we know how to be strong, right? We know how to hold everything together for the house and the family. But there's sometimes in our life, we look around, it's like, I'm being strong for everybody else, but who's being strong for me? Amen? Amen? And, and I was telling um, Pastor Sharon on the way down here, I said, in this last month or so, I haven't even had time to lick my own wounds. Because there's too many others depending on me to be in my position. Being on the wall now, being on the wall, and when I say the wall, being that intercessor, being that, that uh, person of prayer and, and everything, it's intense. You do not have time to say what was me. Mm -hmm. You do not have time to feel sorry for yourself. Because even if you want to, there's just not time for that. Because you look up and here's another need that needs to be met. So on this week when I tried to just, I, I was, how many, you know what, it is a room for the ladies in the room, right? This week has been a very emotional hormonal week for me. Can I just be honest with you? I don't. If you are a female, y'all know what I'm talking about. And it don't matter what point in your life you are at. We can get emotional. So I, this week has been one of those weeks for me. Amen. Can I get a female amen in here? Amen. <laughs> like, yes, girl, I know. Find myself just crying. I don't know why. But I'm just... Uh, you know, Sherry came over the other day. I was like, I just talked to her and I was like, hey, you, you, you. and I just started. I was like, oh my God, why am I crying? I'm emotional. Amen. And, and yeah, it's okay. You know, we, we have to take our emotional times, right? We have to we have to just go ahead and let the tears fall. We have to have our little moments, maybe get a little piece of chocolate, Sharon, and you know, keep it moving. Amen. 